Yeah, that's right. It's Casey. That's right. It's me. Hello, internet. Hell. <coughs> There's a Nintendo Direct. I just woke up. Why is it at 9 a.m.? I hate we'll these motherfuckers. Today's Every time. Showcase and Nintendo Direct we live in a hellscape of our own creation. First up, here's the Indie World it's bad. Showcase. Today, we will see if any of this is uh, cool enough to rock with. They're starting with indie, I guess. I need you to know, Hi, I forgot to turn on my headphones Welcome until like 10 world. seconds ago. I can now hear. This is how hot we were coming in, audience. I'm not even streaming this. It's just me, alone. It's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Yo, is it Balatra? It is, it's Balatro. I played Bellatro. We've done a couple of streams. Why? <laughs> Fucking why, dude? They're like, we're gonna collab with the hottest game in the world. Game released before Final Fantasy 16. Thank you! Give me something contemporary. More importantly, where's Fortnite? Where's my Jonesy, Jonesy King? Dude, what is Dave the Diver? I, I just, I don't know at this point. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank God I didn't do this with Alto like I was initially planning. But I woke up with half my bones dying. I don't know if I'd be able to handle Among Us! I would get too overstimmed. Friends of Jimbo, free update today. Okay, that's neat. Hola, som Nova d'Estudio, l'equip de Rere de Gris, i ara el pròxim joc neva. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començaran la seva aventura al costat d'una petita llova anomenada Neva. I don't speak Japanese, Neva. unfortunately. I can't really get rid really really of for a while here. I'm going to keep having this coffee. I'm going to una jove Neva dels perills del seu món. Però al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño. Oh, yeah, this is uh, the team that did uh, Grease, which is the game with the art on the left. This is the one where you have the funny little animal and you will feel emotions while hanging out with the funny little animal. I'm, I'm good at re remembering most of the games that get revealed unless it's like hyper, hyper slop related. If there's one thing that Nintendo is smart about in this collaboration they've decided to do between uh, Indie World and Nintendo's uh, Partner Direct is that they open with the Indies. Because not to be hyper disrespectful to the independent video game. But also, come on now. <laughs> but also, people are going to turn out way more for the Nintendo Direct part of it. Doesn't help that some Indies just don't show up on indie shows. Some of the big high profile indies end up Creep just appearing on real directs. Corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. But I don't know really In how you solve that. RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate Yo, this goes crazy. the threat He's of got a moves. mysterious event known as the final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? No. Even reality itself? I think they're As you doomed. To get the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life, each with a story that's interwoven with moth. Not everyone will be friendly. Ugh. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. Yeah, this really is one of those so games that has everything. They're, they're showing like 55 Mod different Cubic gameplay concepts. Onto Nintendo Switch next it's spring. buzzing in spring. Hey guys. 
AJ ah. and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. And these other two have been We're frozen in time. Team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode two. Hey everyone, I'm Amanda Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I think we I should do this for my Discord Talk stream co host things, where anytime John someone else is talking, uh, they're frozen. Uh, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. Carl will always be frozen. On the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Carlos to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time, brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud being cozy. to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. You know it's not cozy? Oh, yeah. Waking up before 9 a.m. to watch a Nintendo Direct. But they're doing Coffee Talk Tokyo. That makes sense. Coffee's good, but what if we had coffee in Japan? Dude, you're looking a little green. <laughs> Okay, you do that. You make uh, you make the coffee look like a Tory gate. Yeah, kind of have a trail off like it's all you know magical. Next, you're gonna tell me these characters have pronouns or something. You know, one of these days I'll make one of those jokes, and someone's just I'm gonna click on a random YouTube vod thing, and they're suddenly gonna think I'm red pilled. You gotta be careful. This is great. I heard you make coffee in the now brewing. Oh, I get it. Oh, ready to put oh, there's double puns. They don't even need the fucking Nintendo Direct announcer to try and come up with something. Ugh. <clears throat> Let's check out some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature clock. I was about to say world. tough crowd when they're just doing DLC for games that are out. DLC. Gear up for a journey full of oddities and wonders in which Valir and Zale will have to play by new rules. So I was somewhat high on this game when it came out. I backed this on Kickstarter because I was like, oh, okay. Someone trying to make an actual JRPG thing sounds great. The combat's pretty fun, but unfortunately the story in this is pretty bad. And the, the, the writing quality just isn't up to snuff, you know? They got the combat and, like, flow of JRPGs pretty tight on this game, but tragically they missed the... When this free DLC for the, they miss like that writing and earnest writing quality of like other games that they're trying to be, which is a bit unfortunate. Hey, get out of my swamp! Sorry, Amber. One of these like days onions, they'll uh they'll crash. Is this Power Wash Simulator with Shrek? Bro, I'm trying to like host something right now, and you're just oh my lord, dude. Good time awaits in the Shrek Special Pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. Feel like an all-star as you wash away the grime. Oh, I get it. Is because Smash Mouth did that. Didn't the main, universe, didn't the lead on Smash Mouth Shrek's die recently? Swoop, That's real unfortunate. And the dragon's lair. You know, for the new Donna Shrek, they would have totally got with him with back to like do a new track or some shit. Be like, hey, on remember Shrek, Shrek One? DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo I remember Switch Shrek system One. This fall. I remember being at a local supermarket going, Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm Mother, Kirby. can you please Our give me this VHS of Shrek? He's big and green. He plays a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. Yo, you've got a mouse, you've got an indie game, world. you've got roguelike, first, you've got cards. What else do you need? This is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam, You know, it's been more and more easy to create video games, right? Back... Back in my day, there were significantly less indie games. So now when I hear shit like, we got cards, we got deck building, we got roguelike, we got pixels. And I went, oh shit, dude. We got a million of these. Not to say I'm opposed to deck building or roguelikes, actually. I'm, I'm actually a, an enjoyer of all of those things. But I do think it's funny how many of those we get. Ah, oh, we're a piece of poop, and we're 
wandering around. I like the CRT effect. They, at the very least, they did a pretty good one. Okay, it looks like the cards are just kind of like your perk upgrades, and then the game plays like traditionally, so it's not like throwing cards out. This is like their attempt to make something gross, but it isn't like abhorrently gross in the way the Binding of Isaac is. At the very least, our, the, the sprite work looks nice. I was about to go, yo, is this Frogger? And that dude just got fucking murked. Oh boy. Ooh, it, it, it goes like fucking, like, almost like N64 looking for like a cut there. Ooh, the morsels. Ooh. Oh, get me my meat truck. Oh, February. <laughs> They say ah, hello. home is where the heart is. And that's especially true for this next game. Is this that's date right. everything? Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which ah, you yeah, can, in fact, one. date pretty much everything. With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of unconventional partners to choose from. Fall madly in love with Cabrini. Okay, I didn't get this aspect. Because when I heard that, uh, mostly from Robbie Damon, voice of various dumb. characters and Your, games uh, and anime. Overwhelming sense of existential dread. And they said um, we got a game we called Date Everything. Dark? I didn't know that they made the like lamp. anime Wait, guys out of every single object. I thought it was literal. Like you're gonna talk to a lamp, and there's gonna be a lamp PNG. Engage in flirtatious, branching dialogue with these fully voiced characters as you get to know them and form This is in that, like, layer of we're Perish doing, like, one of those ironic as quick as my wit. dating sim type things. So I don't know entirely how to feel, feel about it necessarily. Love, I mean, so long as the people writing it and playing it aren't going like, yeah, other ones are bad, I imagine it's fine. It only becomes impossible to engage with when it's like, yeah, we hate this genre, so we made a joke game. Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. And I'm Dylan, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. The two I am fucking the, the shit out of this Peglin green shirt, game, ladies and gentlemen. It's the true, I just think he's fun, rocking it. And we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin became a fun and creative escape. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now I'm always years talking later, about my little goblin seven, friends. And we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. The dragons have been stealing your gold for as long as you can remember. When they said it's like the combat system, I went. Part of their lair you mean Peggle? Because this is fucking Peggle. Okay, so it's Peggle, and based on how well you do on the Peggle, a battle on the top screen happens. To deal damage in turn-based battles. The more pegs you sure, hit, dude. They haven't made the it a new peggle in a while. The you'll deal to your enemies. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of different orbs. Some can split into multiple copies. Others will pierce okay, yeah, pegs I need, and Yeah, this is, a, this is a novel and idea. This is probably the best thing they've hit. shown, I would say. This the is a horrible morsel game that with horrible meats. Too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs, and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Relics will radically change your game, too. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Each run presents new opportunities for possible combinations. Teach those dragons a lesson when Peglin bounces onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console I should have assumed it's called Peglin. Today. Peggle. Yeah, all right. Welcome to Wobbly Island. Is this a, is this a Roblox? Harry. Uh, sorry. They're not even here and I'm fucking saying it over. Fucking get a job, Jesus. They're always under threat. Find secrets! A 
Additional game systems or accessories may be required for multi- Okay, I get it. I get it. Don't worry, guys. Wobbly life. Yeah, okay, it did nothing for me. Follow my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. Uh, okay, they're You're tethered, so Zebo. All right, co-op game. Hey, careful! There's a... Uh, <laughs> Oops, let's try this again. Scoot, scoot. And jump! <sighs> Good thing we're oh. tied together. Look, a key. Let's grab it. Hey, don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. Dude, this is like the Ubisoft right, we have our multiplayer game, down. and we're going to, like, describe and our experience. Go. Yay! We make a great team. But I now think the fake enthusiasm is going to make me jump. Oh, boy. As you can see, cooperation is key in this puzzle platformer. Up it's to Pico eight Park players two. need to work together to navigate levels full of ledges, cliffs, and other obstacles. I was really hoping that would Use crush that dude. Stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find all the keys and reach every level's exit. There are more than 60 levels, and each one can be completed no matter how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Even greater challenges await in dark mode, where your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. You will Get die. Ready for multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. Oh man, timed console. Finally, the killer Can't app I was indies? looking for. Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. Yeah, that's uh, Shovel Knight. Now, I don't, need, I don't need you to know this, guys. Nintendo. This, this launched on Switch. I know it's DX, and I know it's got additional content, but I'm also like, come on, man. Fucking Shovel Knight, dude. This doesn't even look indie. This looks way too advanced. You forget that some indies are still, like, backed by, like, publishers, and so they can go, like, on a bit of a higher scale sometimes it's like that dave the diver thing that's funded by the most expensive bug oh, oh, jesus christ man i just got hit by the hit by the fucking birthing hips fucking <laughs> i don't know de detective furry there for a second my bad it's like that dave the diver thing that's like on an incredibly rich company like nexon or whatever but they still count as indie for places it's nice to see more metal slug tactics Seeing that sprite work in a tactics game, I never really would have thought of until uh, until they announced that a couple of years back. Plucky Squire looks great. It's coming out at a horrible time. I really wanted to tap into it, but okay. this fall is going to be too That's busy. All for today's hey, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. What tower? Oh, shit. Silk Song. I mean, Pizza Tower. Let's go. <laughs> I will stream this at some point. I know, I know, I know. People wanted me to do it around the time it was new. I'm sure I'll end up hitting this at some point. It's not a big priority. I'm just escaping the cage marathon so that I can stream what I want. After that, Astro Bob's coming out in like two weeks or so. I'm very excited. Uh, this is a pretty decent closer, giving it a somewhat notable indie game that I guess was not on Switch. Uh, I'm most excited because we're about 20 minutes into the program and we're about to approach the Nintendo Partner Direct. And we will find out whether or not when it was 8.32 in the morning, when I half woke up and decided to shake my body out of bed for this, if that was worth it. We're going to find out soon. It's going to be exciting. And if it's not, oh, Nintendo will have my ire. Oh. Oh, all you all see. Hey, I'm sure it'll be fine. Some partner directs have been quite good, so. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed today's That's right. Showcase. We have DLC. We had As Shrek. Always, we had dating a uh, text box. We had Peggle. We had a uh, pizza Follow tower. Official indie world account to stay up to date on all things indie. And I can Nintendo score this Switch on a one system. to ten. I'm gonna give it a four. <laughs> Stick around for more exciting news and updates in today's the rating is Nintendo Nintendo Direct. I'm not gonna remember half of what just happened. Right now. Until next time. 
Happy gaming. Happy, happy ga it's just like when The Rock once said, enjoy your gaming. All right, let's sit up. I'm not telling them to impress me, but it would be nice if they, you know, made me Hello, excited. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Hello. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. How do you still have okay. more? Let's Honestly, how do you headlines. still have more? These games are falling into place. Tetris! Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris with a compilation of historic games. Oh my god, it's a Tetris collection. Famicom That's funny as shit. Absolutely, this is sick. Chain this is the CRT effect's pretty good too. In Tetris 2 plus Bobless. Also, it's digital clips. They typically do some nice classic collections. Though. They, have, they probably have some interview stuff too. And more in this interactive museum, including the games shown here. Wow. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles. Oh, that makes sense. The they series. usually have some like modern thing they added. It's like the Atari collection they you did, where they had new Atari new games in it. Documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris oh yeah, you'll, yeah, they'll have footage and interviews with like Paget and all and everything. That's cool. Year. Plus, the NES version of Tetris is coming to Nintendo Switch Online this week. That winter. is the big one. You might as well might as well get that on there. I like it's available this winter. They're like, and hold on to your ass. Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event also coming this winter. This is so incestuous. Speed into the unknown. He's got a keyboard on his back. To the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. He's got a surfboard. After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture Dude, through is a, it a ref board? alien world to reunite with your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore. I'm gonna be honest. This is almost getting me. It's buffering. It was never meant to be, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's got a ref board from a wreck of seven. Scorching sands to wavy waters. Tragically, there's not enough trap bar for them to like go in the air with it, I guess. But this along the way, you'll face enemies in frenetic melee combat. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome. This, this, uh, you know, I was you feeling it until they started combat the and the frame rate fell to the floor, but I'm sure it comes out. Solve puzzles things. and gather resources. Solve puzzles, jump on the D20s and shit. Steering, gravity, and more. All right, this part's Whether actually pretty sick. I actually, I vibe speeds, with this. Or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned. As you explore every corner in of this terms of scope planet, and concept this is actually pretty cool or who you'll find your star worm. overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on nintendo switch next year you said second half of 2024 and like the second game you showed is doesn't even come Welcome out this year to the vast island of san angora where you'll take this the is the ugliest version of Goat Simulator 3 you'll ever see, and it's what this fucking franchise deserves. You'll headbutt, lick, and explode your way across the island. Wreak havoc on anything and Arrow and Goat Sim find. first came out. This is like several, several years ago. And I remember people getting getting so mad at critics and going, dude, I don't think there's much I don't think it's very interesting. You just kinda of fuck around with stuff. It's good for like an hour. People are like you don't get it, goat. It's funny, he's a goat. <laughs> and if you told me we would be on another goat sim game in twenty twenty four, I'd be like, Man, that's kinda of surprising. And you're not the only belligerent Billy around here unleash all sorts of bad mischief in two player online. I don't think it's terrible. I haven't I haven't played any ghost sim because look at it. <laughs> Do you think I'd be doing this? I will, however, look at maybe one or two clips of it on Twitter, and then that's kind of where it'll go. Shout out to the Dead Island 2 trailer they did. This November. Here's a rapid fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo. First reveals in rapid fire. <laughs> Here's a rapid fire. Uh, by the way, there's a Trails in the Sky remake. Okay, that's fucking absurd. 
How the fuck they put that in a sizzle reel? Are you kidding? What the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. One of the longest running like JRPG series still going, you know, it was, it's iterating on a story and they're like, we're going to remake that first game uh, or you're going to see it. it you're going to see it in the shitty dubstep audio jungle fucking super cut there. Make bikini bottom your playground. Oh, oh, good heavens. What, what am I doing? Is this SpongeBob? <laughs> no, this is Patrick. The silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants stars in this physics-based sandbox adventure. Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Make some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump, or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Experiment with items you find, from exploding pies to paint tubes to make the world more Patrick-y. <laughs> And he's not the only familiar face here. Take on comical challenges from SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. Buckle up. Hey, who turned out the lights? Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of his mind. When SpongeBob SquarePants, Never. Patrick Star Game launches Keep me on Nintendo Switch, the fuck Switch away from his October mind, 4th. actually. Pre-orders begin. In fact, I don't appreciate that you gave Shop. me that offer. Ready for your very own personal trainer? Not really. I'm kind of. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I guess we are. All right. One, two, the I don't want to disappoint her. Uh, boxing uh, series is punching uh, its way uh, onto what's Nintendo up, dude? Uh, Switch. I'm just happy my personal trainer doesn't have the killmonger kind. <laughs> Use quick workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. That's right. Put the punches together, but it looks like you've got more in you. Once you're done, try going the distance. Along with an extra workout. We're going to give you, we're going to make your heart explode Looking now. Keep You'll fighting, dude. Your instructor at your own pace. You need to learn to box. You will not defeat Mashaba like this. Boxing, you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different training experience. Yeah, maybe you just kind of want to do the arm shit and completed. you don't really want to stand up. We have that there. There are we also got tracks. six instructors, including two new ones. Plus, <laughs> two new white women have dropped shots. just for you. Now say Let thank you. you as you work toward your goals. Nice. Fitness Boxing 3, your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. This is going to be a match to remember. Brother. Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch in one collection. Wait, this is new. Here's Hold the complete on. roster of games. Capcom versus SNK. Millennium oh, Fight fuck, dude. Oh, I'm going to have to watch Max SNK react to this in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Holy Justice. shit, dude. Project Justice Capcom is making it over. Hell yeah. Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. Plasma Sword, Nightmare of Philstein. Let's go, dude. Power That's Stone. the thing people know about from one character in MVC1. And Power Stone 2. Power Stone fans are the are the <laughs> loudest Capcom arcade fans you know. Training mode. Oh man, it's got all the frills online. that the MVC uh, collection has. Good on them. You can also visit the museum to enjoy artwork. Yeah, Capcom collections are game. always whipped with the extra trimming on them. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Plus, jump into the fray when Marvel vs. Capcom All right, they're gonna date Fighting this Collection one. Arcade Classics hyper combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Digital pre-orders <laughs> begin shit. later today. It's on like on two Nintendo weeks, Shop. dude. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch November 27th. Can something come out in like fucking June of next year? Next, like, good lord. Please take a look at this. She got anime eyes. She got like a little dude. 
She's heading toward a large tree. That so far looks like every other, every game I've seen in the modern day. Okay, it's oh, it's a survival game. I'm guessing this is Atelier, by the way. If I had to go based on the style here, imagine this might be like Gust or something. I think that was, uh, I think that was Jotaro. Uh, that's Dio. Uh, why? Oh, man, they picked some they, some specific Seiyu voices here. Hold on. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's Atelier. Yumiya is coming out in early 2025. They get shit done over there. We hope you're looking forward to the newest entry in the Atelier series, featuring a brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some more headlines. Nintendo fans have no idea what they just saw. Adventures though. and allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. I love adventures and I love allies. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games. Oh, there they are. We haven't Switch had news on these in a while. Meet and befriend up to 108 allies in these turn-based RPGs. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat and automate battles with a single button. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about two, right. HD some of these shots look really nice. Some some castle of floor textures look a bit weird Switch, like this. March 6th, but some of it looks good. The bit HD of a mixed bag. remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. You'll be forced to engage with the Sugiyama suite of three songs. Now customize their appearance, voice, and more. Oh, that's cool. That's some cool customization location, stuff. You can use monster-like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use, but that's for another time. Dragon Quest yeah, this looks HD good. I played a chunk Remake. of Dragon Quest Ventures 3, and it was pretty fun. Switch, November 14th. Pre -orders begin later today Don't get the Wii ancient Wii. thing from the pyramid. It is a bad idea. Three Castlevania games are yes! DS ah! The Don't Direct's a 10. I'm sorry, it's a 10. Thank or fucking Christ, I've been waiting years for them to announce the DS collection. Castlevanias. 10! 10! 10! I'm, I'm good. Featuring the original and the reimagined version. Oh, who cares about the arcade games? I'm just here for these. These are my favorite Castlevania. Castlevania Dominus Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Oh, <laughs> holy shit, dude! Dude! The award-winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization Oh Seven. my god, I'm gonna come. <laughs> including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. I'm just gonna... Is her strength, I'm just gonna tweet it. I just came. That help you I just came 15 times. Territory, establish your empire across the map and conquer or cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan, known for its <sighs> Anyway, this is Civilization 7, and, and uh, Civilization Plus, 7 is, and is, is good. Can it's fine. It's, um, collide in it's good. Online or I like play. Civ. Can you create an empire that stands the test of time? Turn the page on a revolutionary new chapter when Sid Meier's Civilization Sid Meier's Civilization the Seventh is system, going on the Switch. I'm not playing it there, but cool. are available now on Nintendo eShop. Forge Bonds Transcending Time. Oh shit, Graces is coming out. The 30th anniversary of the Tales of series with a remaster of the action RPG. Oh, as expected, Tales this is one of those good directs, ladies and gentlemen. You may go, what could those be? What it's the ones with Japanese aspect? games in them. And Prince Richard meet Sophia's children. We will always be friends. Tales of Graces is one of the uh, one of the better Tales friends. games. It's got a good story. I like its intro a lot. Several years I like the style passed. of the characters for the most part. With their strong friendship, uh, Charia says real women eat chicken and the combat system is pretty cool. Up trio get entangled I will definitely not be playing this on Switch, obviously. I'm sure it's on everything because it's Namco. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters 
as well as downloadable content from the original game. Yeah, that's sick. I'm hoping this is like a good version in every way. Definitely not like Symphonia that felt really cursed. Uh, definitely really had for ta happy for Tails fans. This is one of their big favorites. But yeah, hell yeah, dude. January, there you go. Lock it up. I'm not going to play this, so I can calm down now. <laughs> Dude, the Castlevania games are back. It, we're so good. Those were the ones where I was starting to lose hope. Because the advanced collection it, it fucking came out three years ago. More help is wanted. <laughs> no! You got what it takes to manage this perilous no. pizzeria? Test your skills and your nerves. Not not in FNAF. This person horror game. As the newest employee of the Fazbear's Pizzeria, you'll have plenty Ow, of job Jesus. duties, such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizzaplex Salon, getting high scores by playing nostalgic arcade minigames, and hopping on attractions like a log ride. Sounds I'm easy sorry, FNAF's just not for me. I'm just but an enemy enemy of my of friends like Jordan. Though, to be fair, all I'm thinking way. about right now is that Become Kanye West, his icon on his, his fucking manager's phone Freddy's. is Golden Freddy Have asking for the nitrous. <laughs> that part is holiday. getting me. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizzaplex, I, I definitely wasn't. Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. I can't wait for the Switch 2 to come out so every third party Let's game doesn't look like that. Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. That's right, folks. We got a sizzle reel. I guess we're doing a sizzle reel, then doing like one more thing. We got Disney's Epic Mickey rebrushed. I would play this if it wasn't coming out in September. I'm sorry about that, but we might get to it eventually because it's a 3D platformer that I could probably do in one sitting. Here's the fucking Lord of the Rings game where you're in the fucking Shire. N fucking who cares? Get out of here. They look horrible. No, get out of here, you hobbits. It's just dance. Uh, you know, Just Dance is fine, but I hate that they drop support on the Wii. It would have been really funny if they're like, dude, fucking the Wii has been irrelevant for 15 years. We're still doing it. Here's Funko Fusion. Uh, like many people on the internet, I do not care about Funko Pops. Though I do like the person on Twitter saying, you're just against Funko Pops because you hate poor people. And I'm like, fucking, well, what is, no. Also, the business of Funko Pop has now become uh, getting anime Funko Pops and then, you know, harassing voice actors to sign them so that they can sell them for a profit. So I'm like, I don't know if this is necessarily a poor people's uh, the, uh, the figure business too much. What do we got here? We got like light and dark dragons. I'm gonna be honest, as soon as I saw some of this, I went, this is me, oh yeah. It's like, nah, I don't think so, nah. Not enough money on that. one of those where I can't tell if the game's Welcome like an to established the IP. Nation of Azuma. I'm supposed to know. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as runes ceased to exist. Ah, oh, it's Rune Factory. Sorry, gap in my uh gap in my gaming knowledge. No real interest series, in these styles of games, but good. Bigger adventure than ever before. As an earth dancer, you'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Use the sacred drum to help crops grow faster. I'm just not a big farming a guy, you know, to summon which, which is fine. But the, granted, they've made like 800 farming games in the past three years, but you know. The land. I do Restore like slower paced games, though. Like, I play Dragon Quest Builders, fields. you know. 
I, I enjoy Civ. I like the concept of like making it an aesthetically nature, pleasing or satisfying like villages. place building. Not this though. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma. I have a headache. Uh, it might be because I scream all scream basically at the top of my lungs at uh, 9:30 in the morning over them letting me buy DS games for my TV. To their human forms. I am so glad I woke up for this, actually. Just for that. The pop of going, wait. Oh. Settle into village life. Get to know the community around you. And oh. deepen your relationships to find friendship. Fuck yeah, dude. Or even I'm romance. guessing this is the ending game on here. A wedding could even be on the horizon. Experience a beloved series reimagined. In Rune Factory, Guardians of Azuma, launching on Nintendo Switch next spring. Next will be our last announcement. Okay, this Please is our last. Yeah, look. they usually like to tell you what's last. <laughs> Immerse yourself in the story. Holy <laughs> shit. And they're like, we're ending on Daigo. Oh, it's just Kiwami? Or are we getting more? Kazuma Kiryu. A Yakuza accused of murdering his clan's patriarch and Haruka, a young girl on the run. Two individuals whose fates intertwine. It's weird, they uh, I don't think they have zero on here. Kamurocho, Japan's largest entertainment district. Kiryu must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld while confronting rival gangs. Swap between four fighting styles in real time combat. Fight bare knuckle. Or arm yourself with makeshift weapons and go up against... I like how Yakuza is high profile enough that they're like, this is the megaton hit we close on. So take a break from brawling every once in a while. <laughs> Discover how the epic series began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. You know, this is the first time they're like, we got to get as many of these as we can on the next one. Thank you for watching. You're welcome, dude. I'm always happy to help. We had Tetris. We had that hoverboard thing. We had shitty goats. We had SpongeBob. We had the workout lay. We had the fighting game. We had the woman who spins. We had the fucking pixels. We had the slime. We had the... Are you really showing me the one part of the sizzle reel for the Castlevania thing to be the arcade game no one's going to play? Fucking Nintendo, I'm going to find you. I'm gonna find you and eat you. Are you kidding me? Whatever. This fucking thing was good. Uh, no Silk Song, as expected. Uh, this this show didn't matter enough. The Silk Song, I feel like, is something you you prop in a big show, not a baby show. That said, this is a baby show just for me. <laughs> oh, that was awesome.